Let's now discuss most commonly used scenario where unwind stage is combined with the group stage. So first we perform unwind and then group resulting documents. In this example we unwind tags array and then group by the same tags. But in this case at the group stage those tags is not an array. It contains raw elements of the input array. So results will be following. Just IDs with the strings as the values. So just list of the tags. Let's now go to the shell and try this. After previous example, I have aggregate operation with unwin stage and project stage. Let's delete project stage and instead of it use group stage. So group colon, then object and underscore id mandatory field and let's group by the same tags field. And let's execute this command enter. And now you see documents grouped by certain elements of the tags array. Here it is, here it is and so on. You can change to table view and here just list of values. Let's summarize what happens here. We take all documents in the person's collection and pass them to the stage 1. Unwind stage produces several documents per each input document and quantity of the output documents depends on the quantity of the elements in the tags array. And then resulting documents are passed to the stage 2 and we group those documents by the same field tags. But on the second stage this field contains strings in our example. On the first stage it contains arrays and on the second stage it contains strings because we have split tags array into several elements. Ok, that's all for unwind stage and I really hope that you understood how it works. Now we will go on and next we will discuss accumulator operators. Those operators will help you easily count for example quantity of the tags that appear in the input documents. Ok, see you shortly.